you have problems finding a remote control in your house? Hey, Buck. Where'd the remote go? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had it. No, you had it last. Where'd you put it? Buck, you were watching the show last <laughs> night. Did, did, did the I'm show's sorry. about to start. Come on, man. I thought it was a little you can prevent this in your house in just a few simple steps. Before you get started, you're going to need your remote. You're going to need a drill with a drill bit, kind of depending on the size of cord you use. You need a screw depending on how thick you're going into. I'll explain that in a minute. And, of course, your bit. Let's get started. Okay, first, I'm going to take my drill, I'm going to take my remote. And if you look, Behind each remote, you take the battery cover off. There's always usually going to be a space in here that you can, you'll see this little space right in here. See, there's a little, and you come in here, you can drill in and make you a hole in your remote. It doesn't ruin the remote. It doesn't do anything that's going to hurt your remote. So you want to take the cover off. I'm going to be using this nylon cord. This is parachute cord. You can get it. Army Navy stores, hardware store. I use nylon because you can melt the ends and it makes a little ball there. You don't have to tie a knot. It's not going to come back through. You'll see when I get this together. So you're going to take your remote. And I'm going to look and find the best spot right in here. If you look real close, there's a lip right in there that on this that the back of this catches on when it's in. I, I want to miss that so I'm going to go under that. Really I'm going to be coming in right about this angle right in here to get into this little cubby hole spot right there. I'm using this nylon parachute cord and so you want to get it about the same size so that's what my drill bit is and I'm going to come into the back side of my remote and I'm going to start drilling right about being real careful and right about safety tip don't forget to take the batteries out when you do this take the batteries out safety first so anyhow we're gonna come in drill our hole you can see the drill bit went through I'm done with my bit so I'm gonna take that out and I'll be putting in my Phillips head bit so I can screw it down Now just get it to where when you give a little tug, it's not going to have, let it dry real good. Now at this point you can put your batteries back in it. Safety first. Look at that. Woo! Now let's go install it. You can go and tie this to a leg. You can, you can tie it to somewhere. All that's going to do is make somebody untie it so they can take it where they want and then you'll lose the whole principle of having this. So I like to just come in somewhere and uh, we'll just screw this in on my great 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 grandmother's antique desk that she brought over from Germany in the 1700s. And there you go. Now, your remote is tethered. Turns the TV on and off. There we go. And there you have it. One tethered remote. 
fights in my Never had to fight over where the remote is. Where's the remote? And if you can't find it, and it's hid, and you don't know where the thing is, this is the key point. Go to your start point, and go fishing. Here it is. So here's my question. How come if you have a TV in the bedroom, why is it always the husband's job to go under the bed and find the remote? Even if I ain't touched the remote and it goes behind the bed, guess who has to go get it? You can do it in here too. Just find a place to screw it, put it into the wall, and there you go. But here's the problem. And this is for the super advanced. I came in one day to the same TV remote as in the living room. Look what my wife did. She cut the string. So, if you ever have this happen, here's what you can do. You can do the same thing except with steel cable. And this is the eighth inch. And it works, you can still take this off, you can still change your batteries. All I did was cut a little extra loop in there for the cable. And your cable loops. And I can guarantee you, after about two years of having the cable, since she uh, cut my string, there's no way she can go get her sewing scissors and cut this. So... Enjoy it. Email me if you have any questions. I've always done this to all the remotes. You can uh, ask any of my kids. They always know where to find the remote. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully this will help some of you out. Appreciate it. Oh, I need to watch TV. Where's that remote? Oh. Here it is. <laughs> Man, I hate this show. Where's that remote? I don't know.